Hi everyone, this is Downloads from the Divine. I am here to do the Twin Flame Daily Reading for today, December 18th of 2018. Oh, I hope everyone's doing well um, and your week has started off great and I'm always sending lots of love and light to you all. Um, thank you so much for your support of the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your likes and your shares and the beautiful messages that you send. Thank you. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a Twin Flame focused channel and uh, these readings are for the energies of both the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Um, I always say this, um, but this is a general reading, just like a lot of the readings on, uh, well, pretty much most of, most of all the readings on YouTube are um, uh, general readings. And it's impossible for uh, these readings to resonate with everyone. I'm always praying that they resonate with as many folks as possible. I am on Instagram. I do spreads over there. Um, I've been lately only able to do those on like a weekly basis, but I'm going to try to um, do those more frequently. And then I do also offer uh, personal services, such as personal readings. I'm on Instant Go and all the information on how to like order a reading and all of that is all in the description box below, even information about me. Okay. All right, let's get started. Let's get it going. Let's get this Tuesday going. Um, for those of you who are well into your Tuesday, I hope it's it's been awesome, okay? I am using today, we're changing it up because we're switching it up every from, from day to day. And um, even though I love my Marchetti uh, decks, and I actually have a new Marchetti deck too, um, but I love his decks. Um, we're kind of switching it up. I'm using the Morgan Greer uh, tarot deck and... Um, Yep. Are you going to use that? And I'm going to be clarifying with the mystical Lenormand deck. I have not used that before um, in a daily reading, but it's the mystical Lenormand deck. I'm going to be clarifying um, with with those cards and then I will pull a romance angel orca card at the end. OK. All right. Let's do this. So I will pull one card. If more than one card comes out, I'll take it. As long as it's not the entire deck. Um, I always pull the card from the bottom and the top of the deck as part of that overall energy. And then I will look again at the bottom and the top of the deck. Okay. Alrighty. One more time. Let's do this. Angels and spirit, what messages do you have for the Twin Flame Collective for today? December 18th, 2018. Oh, wow. The Two of Cups. Front and center. Top of the deck. The moon. Okay. And in the bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. This is a pretty cool spray right here. Um, and the message is pretty, uh, the message is pretty straightforward here. Okay. Um, this is letting you all know, um, for those of you who have been unsure, uh, because what, what tends to happen, I've talked about with cycles because we've got the wheel of fortune here. We've got the moon here. Okay. And what I've talked about with cycles, this is that we have the very start of a cycle with the fool. And it's all, um, and, and with tarot, it's represented by the major arcana. And that's how I've talked about it. But you have the very beginning of a cycle and you, with the fool, and you take that leap of faith into that new beginning. And then you move forward into the magician and you manifest that new beginning. Um, and then you have the very, very end of a cycle with the world. And that's the complete wrap up of a cycle. Um, but in between those two points, you have, you know, the karmic part of a cycle. You have this will of fortune. 
And what tends to happen with folks is that we tend to get caught up in the karma part of a cycle. We can't move forward past it. So this wheel will just turn in place. Okay. I've likened it before to the karmic merry-go-round and we can't get off of it. Okay. We can, but we get so caught up in it and it just keeps going around and around and around. Um, what is cool here is the downloads that I'm getting is just that it's, I, I feel like there's folks out there that have been, um, so caught up in the karmic cycle that they're unsure about whether or not the karmic cycle has really ended for them. Okay. And this will depend on how it resonates with you. Um, but for, for those who this resonates with, this is to let you know that this karmic cycle really did end. Okay. And now what's happening is that you're able to completely wrap up a cycle and you're able to move forward and be able to manifest these beautiful new beginnings. Okay. I do feel like with the moon here, this is something that there's been some confusion around. Okay. With the moon, it's been unclear, uh, specifically the moon played a lot in terms of with this karmic cycle. Okay. With the wheel of fortune that's been unsure to folks, just like, um, even divine feminine. Okay. It's been, I feel like there's divine feminine out there that we're unsure like, has this karmic, am I still up in the karmic cycle? You know, has this ended, you know, am I still, you know, on the merry-go-round? Um, for those who this resonates with, this is to let you know that yes, it has ended. Um, this may be a, may, um, be unclear and there may be still some confusion, even just with how things like, for instance, ended between the divine masculine and a divine feminine. But this is to let those, let folks know that, um, specifically I'm feeling for divine feminine to let divine feminine know that this cycle really did end. What's happening now is that you're moving forward into this union. Okay. we got the two of cups here. This is union. This is partnership. This is coming together. And this karmic cycle has ended and there's still confusion. I feel with the moon here around that. Also, I'll talk more about the moon because the moon's also about even aligning with your intuition as well. So moon can be secrets and confusion and all of that. But moon can also be um, aligning with also your intuition, okay, as well. So let's look at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, we got a knight of we got a knight of rods. Yeah, we got um, we've got this is let's see with the two cups here. This is some divine masculine. So this is, this is a message to the divine feminine to let this divine, divine feminine out there know that this, this cycle did end. Now what's happening is, is that we've got the crowning energy here with the two of cups, but we've got two major kind of here. Okay. So far on the table. Um, but letting divine feminine know that union is, is, is happening. Okay. The bottom deck, we do have a Knight of Rods or the Knight of Wands. It's Rods in this deck. Okay. So this night is the second to fastest night. Okay. And this is the night that is driven by that passion and driven by uh, desire. Okay. Specifically, I feel like this is some divine masculine here. That's being driven by this two of cups. Okay. And, um, has a lot of passion and desire and is carrying one wand, that one wand on one rod. That's the, uh, Ace of rods or the Ace of wands, uh, passion, new beginning. Okay. Um, is carrying that and, and wanting that, but is also being driven by this being driven by this, um, by this union, by having this two of cups. I feel, I feel like this Knight of Rods, uh, during this karmic cycle was because of the thing, the thing is, is the, there's pros and cons with all energies and with all the, you know, every single card, there's a pro and a con to it. Um, that's why people, you know, you have reversals and all those different things. Um, there's, so there's pros and cons with the Knights, you know, Knights come in and bring in offers. Okay. And they bring in things. Knights are sent out by kings and queens. Okay. 
Um, but knights also, um, they come in, they can leave out. Okay. Um, I feel like this knight of rods during this karmic cycle that has ended. Okay. I feel like this knight of, uh, this knight of rods, um, was in and out. Okay. Just whatever. I feel like this is some divine masculine energy that was like, you know, passion, desire, driven by it comes in and then doesn't stay around and leaves out. Okay. That very inconsistent in and out type of energy driven, just driven by passion and desire, but no consistency. Um, I do feel like, um, given that this karmic cycle has ended because I feel like this is an ending of a karmic cycle and this is, there's confusion around this, but there's folks specifically, um, specifically the divine feminine, knowing that this cycle has ended okay this not it, this karmic part of the cycle and i feel like even this cycle in this entire cycle even with this karmic part of the cycle ended and you're now moving forward into this new beginning with this two of cups okay so this knight of rods is now divine masculine that's driven by passion and desire and is wanting to be able to have this new beginning and be able to come into union with the divine feminine okay on the other side of the deck we've got yeah, we got the magician. Okay. We've got the magician. I just saw the nine of swords. That's some worrying, some anxiety there. So this divine masculine is like having to overcome some um, worry and some anxiety. Well, and then the, the, so the, the download I'm getting with that, the reason I saw that nine of swords is this moon. Okay. Moon can also be some fear because I feel like uh, the other download I'm picking up with this knight of rods, this is divine masculine here with this magician and this knight of rods. Okay. Um, I'm even getting another download with this magician too, but the reason I saw the nine of swords, nine of swords is having that worry and anxiety, having those sleepless nights. I had, I saw that because I feel like there's divine masculine out there that are, um, there's some fear around whether or not they're able to come into union with the divine feminine due to this karmic cycle. Okay. Um, cause moon can also be some fear as well. Okay. So that's another download that I'm picking up is that it's do the everything that happened all even the confusion with the within that karmic part of you know that karmic cycle there's some fear of whether or not you know the divine feminine would want to come into union with him or her okay but we do have a, we have the knight of rods and we have a magician so that's why i am I, that's the i'm feeling that this this cycle is to let divine feminine know that this karmic this karmic part of this cycle for those who this resonates with this ended. Okay. There's confusion around that, but all of that's it. This is all ended. It really has ended and you're being able to come into have a new, new beginning and come into union with the two of cups moving to union. But we've got the magician here. Okay. I'm getting a couple of downloads with this magician. Magician is like, I was talking about the cycle and you have the full, you take the leap of faith into the new beginning and then you manifest it with the magician here. You manifest that new beginning and you, you can see the magician has all the different tools, every, all of the suits from the cups to the swords, to the pinnacles, um, to the, to the rods of the wands has all of that at his or her disposal. It's being able to use all of the tools that you have to be able to manifest a new beginning. Um, I do feel like we've got divine masculine that are doing that with this king of rods driven by a lot of passion and desire. Um, and, um, manifesting a new beginning. Okay. So we've got divine masculine in that, in that position. The other, the other dialogue I'm getting is, is that we've got divine masculine that also are seeing the divine feminine in this position of being a magician and manifesting new beginnings. Okay. That's the other download that I'm getting. But it's being able to manifest a new beginning after the ending of a karmic cycle, after the ending of a complete cycle. Wheel of Fortune is just the karmic part of the cycle. It's not the complete cycle. 
Um, I've, and it's, it's not the entire cycle, even though that's the biggest, one of the biggest parts of it. And a lot of folks can't move past that. They get stuck in that. Okay. Like I was talking about, but this with the magician here, this is just, this is also again, confirmation, being able to manifest those new beginnings after the ending of a karmic cycle here with the wheel there with the moon. I talked about the moon here. I've talked about, you know, the moon with, you know, moon is everything from, you know, I feel like the, this, like I was talking about earlier with the moon and the karma and this will of fortune, that there was just a lot of confusion around that. The way things ended, um, the way things were just left between a divine feminine and divine masculine and, um, just kind of just really even not knowing where you stood, it was just kind of left, you know, difficult endings. And there was just a lot of confusion. It could have also involved with some secrets and things that were just really unclear. And I feel like that's, that's all what's part of this karmic, this karmic, uh, part of the cycle. Okay. With the will of fortune. What's awesome is this will is turned. The wheel is turning in your favor and it's turning right into this. It's, we have a complete wrap up of the cycle and now being able to manifest this new beginning here with this magician. Okay. But also, um, you know, I was also talking about, I did pick up the download with the nine of swords that there's some fear here with the divine masculine, um, just given the confusion that happened with the moon. Um, but there's moon can also be some fear as well. And just due to everything that happened in this karmic cycle, there's fear of whether, um, there's fear of whether, um, you know, being able to come into actually be able to come into union with, um, with the divine feminine. Okay. Whether the divine feminine will want to come into union with the two of cups and have that union and that partnership after everything that happened. So there's some anxiety there with some divine masculine. Okay. The other download I'm getting is this now it's also for divine feminine because that was a strong download. I was, I was getting is that divine feminine trusting, um, that this cycle, this, um, karma cycle really did end. Okay. Um, I feel like we got divine feminine that they're unsure just the way things were left. Um, and you know, not trusting also we have divine masculine, you know, that are returning. Um, and you know, it's trusting that, trusting that, that karmic part of that cycle has ended. You're now being able to go ahead and move forward and manifest a, a completely new beginning. Okay. And that's also here with the moon. Cause moon is also being able to align with your intuition and trust your intuition too. Just like the high priestess. And I saw the high priestess at the bottom of the deck when I pulled the, um, um, was behind this night of rods. The high priestess was, which is about trusting your intuition. Okay. The other thing too, is this, that we've got divine masculine. You can see this two of cups here is right behind this, um, night. This divine masculine is being driven, having a lot of passion and desire and being driven by this two of cups and moving forward. And like the divine masculine that are also in this magician energy right here and being, they're wanting to manifest this new beginning. Um, and move forward in this night of rods, this passionate, this is the passionate night, this, you know, passion, desire. What's driving this night is this two of cups. Okay. Um, I would, I'd feel different. I feel like this night of rods here was, like I said, was different during that karmic cycle and was in and out. Could have been a one night stand night too. Okay. Cause the night of rods can be the one night stand night. Um, but this is, this is different. This is, this is, I feel some transformation that's happened with this divine masculine that's being driven by this two of cups being driven by having union with the divine feminine. Okay. That's what's driving this night forward. Okay. All right, y'all, we're going to clarify. We're going to use the, the mystical Lenormand deck. start with this knight of rods angels and spirit can you please clarify the knight of rods knight of 
Knight of Rods. Okay, we've got the tree here. The tree or the tree of life. Okay. Um, this this divine masculine, like I said, in this Knight of Rods is being driven by this two of cups, that union. Um, but this is the tree of the tree. This is the tree, the tree of life. This in the Lenormand deck is all representative of the hell of health. Okay. Getting yourself healthy, getting yourself balanced. I feel like this divine masculine has had to get to, had to work through some things just as a divine feminine has, um, but has had to get through some things to be able to get to this place of being able to move forward and moving passionately forward because it's wanting to be able to manifest. This magician is sitting right below this night. Okay. Being able to move forward and manifest these new beginnings. The bottom of the deck we've got, I just saw the heart too. That's all about love and also about union and partnership as well. But we got the heart, not, not the heart. I'm, I'm saying the heart because I saw the heart. We got the stars here. Okay. So stars is, um, is the stars that is that healing energy as well. So this divine masculine has had to do some work. Okay. Um, has had to do some work on his self or herself and get to a place of healing. Okay, and being able to get to this place to be able to also manifest this new beginning, be this magician. But star is uh, one of those make-a-wish cards. Star is also um, divine intervention as well. But it's a healing energy too. Okay, so this with the with the tree, the tree of life, really getting yourself to a place, um, divine masculine getting themselves to a place of being healthy and balanced to be able to move forward, um, you know, and have this union with the divine feminine. On the other side of the deck, we've got, yeah, because we got the rider. So we got the rider with the star. Being able to get to this place of balance and health to be able to come forth with these messages. Okay, communication here with the rider. Rider is also a number one. You can't see it very cl clear in here. What's interesting, if you notice, let me show y'all. It's taken them having to overcome some obstacles to do this because you can see right there, there's the horse right there, but you can see, if you can see really closely, there's a snake right there. Okay. Um, but this, this rider is like, and this rider and the horse are just like going straight ahead. They're not even paying attention to this snake. Okay. So it's like being able to overcome those obstacles. We'll go ahead and um, let's clarify the moon. Angels and spirit, can you please clarify the moon? Oh my. So um, the download I'm getting, we've got the key here. We've got flowers. Okay. The download I'm getting with this is, is that it's like I feel it's divine feminine do not know um, what all is happening. I feel like just due to everything that happened within that karmic cycle and haven't been so caught up in it, it's really truly not knowing with the moon here that this is happening, that you have divine masculine getting to a place of health um, and balance to be able to come forth with messages to be able to come forth and, and move forward and want to have and move forward and have union um, with the divine feminine. You got the key. You can see the key there. Um, very protected. Okay. And then the flowers. Okay. There's a feeling here that, um, I feel like there's divine masculine that they are, have had to be able to get, had, they've had to get into a position of health, 
um, and balance to be able to like protect who the divine feminine that they're seeing as their key. Okay. Um, guarding that and not letting anything, any type of out, uh, influence affect that. And I feel like that's things that there's something that the divine feminine is not knowing that the divine masculines have had to do. Okay. Divine masculine energy has had to do, but it's also here is like flowers. Also, um, it's, it's, this is about that God divine masculine that wanting to come into union, wanting to also, um, in a, in a cycle and during that karma cycle, where there was all of these different imbalances, there wasn't that reciprocate, you know, where there wasn't reciprocity. Um, it's like paying that due appreciation and respect here with the flowers. Okay. That that's happening. This is unknown here with the moon. And I feel like um, divine feminine, again, a strong download I'm getting is just that it's like understanding and trusting this, that this karmic cycle has really ended. Okay. The bottom of the deck, we've got the clover leaf. This is all about luck. Okay. And then on the other side of the deck. Yeah, we got the book again. We got the book, not, not again, but we got the book. Um, and the reason I'm saying again is because I feel like this is just some things that are unknown to the divine feminine. This is like, this is, I feel, the book can be the book of knowledge or the book of secrets. I feel in this case, it's the book of secrets with the moon here. This is clarifying the moon that that's unknown. Angels and spirit, can you please clarify the wheel of fortune? The wheel of fortune. Yeah, I got the star again. This is healing. It's, it's, um, this is letting you know that you've done the work. You were able to overcome. And then I'm talking to divine feminine. You've done the work. You were able to overcome and get out of this karmic cycle. Okay. Um, it takes, it takes to be able to get off that karmic, karmic merry-go-round. It takes a lot to do. Okay. Um, it takes strength to do that. And it's like, you know, you're getting to a place of healing here with the star. Okay. And this karmic cycles ended and fortunes turning in your favor. Okay. As well. The bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the scythe. Okay. That's where, you know, there, there's things that had to be cut out and cut away. Um, specifically with that karmic cycle to be able to move forward in that karmic cycle and be able to move forward and manifest these new beginnings. Okay. And on the other side of the deck, we've got, yeah. Got the dog here. And this is all about, you know, being loyal. The other download I'm getting is, is that you got divine masculine that they're healing because they've realized that, um, you know, whatever that happened during that karmic cycle, um, that it did affect and it, it's feeling, it's a feeling of that they're cut, it cut out a person that was very, very dependable and loyal. Okay. And I feel like with the side in that case, it was like, um, endings. This is indicative of like that ending that happened. Um, and that divine masculine are feeling that laws that were everything that happened with that karmic cycle. It cut out a person that was very, the divine feminine that was very dependable and loyal here with the dog here. Okay. That's why we've got this divine masculine driven by this two of cups and trying to manifest this new beginning going to go ahead and clarify um the magician angels and spirit can you please clarify the magician the magician yeah okay um, the download I'm also getting, cause I'm seeing that snake again. Um, I feel like there's, there's divine masculine that they've had to get to a place. They've had to cut some stuff out too with the scythe. Okay. Um, to be able to move forward and manifest whatever that happened with that karmic cycle, cutting, you know, it ended and being able to move forward and manifest this new beginning with the magician. Okay. 
the bottom of the deck, we do have the storks. Okay. So storks is good news. Storks is about having and manifesting that new beginning. Okay. It's good news with the storks. Yeah. Because it's being able to move forward. This is the clouds. You know, being able to move forward from that dark, you know, the stormy clouds and move forward into this clearing there. Okay. Coming through the storm. Angels and Spirit, can you please clarify the Two of Cups? Yeah. This has been this. This is the stork again. This is news. Um, this has been a block. And I'm seeing the mountain at the bottom of the deck. Being able this divine masculine being able to get to a place of balance here because this is the tree, the tree of life that's clarifying this Knight of Rods. They've had to do some healing work. I feel like that's also part of this moon and what's unknown. Um, because divine feminine, you know, why haven't I heard or why am I, you know, there's very little communication or why haven't I heard. It's because I feel like divine masculine have also had to, just as the divine feminine has had to do healing work. So is the divine masculine, your twins. And you each have to do that work and come to that place of healing to be able to come into union with this two of cups. So this is also to show that this divine masculine has also had to do some healing work, has had to overcome some obstacles and cut out some things to be able to get to this place of being able to come forward with communication. Because I feel like there's been divine feminine that are been, there's been some frustration with not hearing anything, not seeing anything in the physical. There's also some fear here that you're still caught up in a karmic cycle. That karmic cycle with this energy, with the, with this reading and the energy and this reading, that karmic cycle in it. Okay. It's over. Um, there's a new beginning that's happening right here. And that's what's, and this divine masculine is driven to do that is what's happening. I feel like that's just, so there's, there's some things that are unclear and there's been some confusion around that. Okay. Storks is good news though. Okay. It's this divine masculine being able to get to a place here with the tree of life, get to a place of health and balance. Whatever they've had to cut out and overcome, different karmic situations they've had to overcome in their life to be able to come forward to the divine feminine and communicate and come and want and come into union with the divine feminine. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, this this has been a this has been a, a a a block. We've got the we got the mountain here. This has been an obstacle and a block to do this because I feel like this divine masculine was not in a place of of balance and health. Um, and just as the divine feminine had to do the healing work, so is this divine masculine. Other side of the deck we've got, yeah. This is the anchor right here. It's being able to ground and anchor yourself, stabilize yourself. Okay? Being able to do that. This has been a challenge for this divine masculine to do that. To be able to get to this place, to be able to move forward towards the divine feminine. And get to a place of healing to be able to do that. Okay? go ahead and pull a Roman Angel Oracle card and then we'll wrap it up. All right. Angels and Spirit, what? Oh, that's it. No, that's too many cards. Angels and Spirit, what guidance and insight do you have for the Twin Flame Collective for today? For December 18th of 2018. Okay. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I feel this is a strong message to Divine Feminine who this reading resonates with. There's been confusion and fear of whether or not a karmic cycle has really ended with this divine masculine because you haven't heard anything. You either have like received very little communication from him or her, the divine masculine, or you haven't even heard anything from them. You haven't seen anything happening also in the physical. Okay. You may be feeling some things, 
but you haven't seen anything happening in the physical. This is letting you know it's, it's safe for you to love that this karmic cycle did end, that this person has had to do some work and some healing just as the divine mass, uh, divine feminine has, this divine masculine has had to do the same. To be able to get to a place of healing and balance, to be able to move forward towards the divine feminine to come into union. That's what each twin has to do to be able to come into union, to have that lasting union, is to do the work and do the healing work to do that, okay? But it is safe for you to love, okay? The bottom of the deck we've got, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Staying positive, not getting in this place with the moon and, you know, trusting and confusion, not having, you know, not trusting and, and, and fear whether or not you're still in this karmic cycle, okay? On the other side of the deck, we've got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So it's like you trusting that this karmic cycle has ended. It's you trusting that this divine masculine, and this is specifically to divine feminine, this divine masculine has had to work through some stuff and some obstacles to be able to get to a place to be able to come forward. Just as the divine feminine has had to work through obstacles and healing to be able to get to the place of where you're at to be able to move forward and then you each are manifesting this new beginning. But you taking full control of your life, taking back control of your life, okay? Not staying in this place with of fear and confusion, okay, and trusting that this has ended and you're able to move forward into these new beginnings, okay? All right, y'all. I am sending y'all lots of love and light, and you all have a beautiful day, and please take care. Bye.